Hi everyone, Mo from Cycle Garden. We're coming to you today on Election Day 2020. How exciting. Uh, we just got, uh, Stevie just finished up this restoration, or we still got to do, we just got to run it. So we still got to do the tank, seat, we still got to do some cosmetic stuff, put some spotlights on it. This bike is for Victor. So we've just done an initial test on it. Uh, we've got officially four miles on it and we're just kind of, this video is for Victor and it's kind of for you guys to show what we do. So uh, let's go around this thing, Stevie, and maybe from front to back here. Let's show over here. We got some sunlight over here. So we completely restored these wheels. Uh, these are uh, late 73, 73 and a half. These are the same basic brake as a V7 Sport except they have fatter, uh, um, I guess you call them blocks or collars here because obviously the 74 Eldo um, forks are wider than a V7 Sport. But basically everything else is identical except for the rim. The rim is not a cross rim, but they took that brake, that four leading shoe off the V7 Sport and put it on this for a half a year. And it's an expensive brake I imagine to make. And then soon after they went to disc. So this is kind of like the holy grail of drum brakes. If you don't like disc, this is what everybody wants for drum brake bikes. Um, anyway, so everything obviously, is, this is a full restoration. Everything's done. Um, every day, thing down to, sh sh we even had to make an axle here. So that axle we had to make up, we uh, made that from a 74 axle. So. Uh, let's show him, Stevie. Let's show him the uh, see if it'll focus in on the VIN for Victor so he can see that. Yeah, if I'm getting focus, we'll see. But you can see how clean it is. Everything's been touched on this bike. Um, we've got old headers on it right now while it's wearing in. We're going to ride it for, I don't know, probably 300 miles. Typically, we like to put 300 miles on it before we give it to the customer, just to make sure everything's breaking in right, just to make sure everything's timed right and no weird stuff going on with it. Um, scroll back here. We've got a, we found a friction siren for them, so we got that on there. Show them that. Stevie did a nice job on that. Uh, what else we got here? Everything's new. <laughs> God, everything, I mean. Every nut and bolt was touched. Yeah, we got a truck backing up over there, but we'll try to get through this thing. I mean, even down to the switches, we have to rebuild. Show them that brake switch in there. I mean, that switch we had to, that's an old CEV switch. There's not any decent switches, so we strip those things apart, rebuild them, make them work again. Uh, you know, rekey the ignition. Um, anyway, so there it is. Dash. Dash, here we go. Rechrome dash. Four miles on the clock. All the, all the idiot lights work. Uh, for you guys that don't know, let me turn the key on here. Show them. So, this is the oil light, which it's not on right now. Neutral generator light, high beam. Let's see if we can get the... High beam. There's the high beam light. I guess our generator light. It's it's lit when it starts and then goes off. Yeah, Same I don't know why it's light. not on, but I guess we'll have to check that. Right turn signal, left turn signal. This will be for the spotlight. It's actually for an old map light. So, all right. So, anyways, white and black grips. I guess our video is getting messed up with our yeah. truck backing up, so that's nice. I'm showing them the controls. We've got, uh, we put the Tomaselli Chrome double pull on it. Um, this has double pull uh, brakes. We can get these uh, barbells now. They're, they've been obsolete forever, these pieces here. So we can get some of these pieces back. We've got them reproduced. Uh, done everything even with, show them this, uh, light switch we've got a Yamaha 205 switch so that's all rebuilt that's an original from 1974 so that works out pretty good 
Um, but yeah, we got our old tank, old seat on it right now until we put some miles on it. And um, we've got our, I mean, nowadays, even these turn signals are old deets. So, I mean, years ago, I used to be able to get PMs. I could just get them from the auto parts store. Now we have to get original ones and re-chrome them. So everything's getting more difficult on this. Uh, the Lucas reflectors are getting really hard to find good ones. I mean, we, have a, we even had a tough time with the whole COVID thing with the shock. So, um, and it looks like Mac mufflers is out of business. So now we've got these European torpedo mufflers on it. So show them those. Uh, they don't look torpedo. bad. They don't sound they bad either. Good. They They don't, they sound good and they're not cheap though. But anyways, we got our aluminum risers on it. So it's all nice and pretty. Siren. All right, let me see if I can get this uh, fired up and we'll do a drive-by on it. Anyways, um, we're trying out our new 4K camera, so I hope you guys like it. And uh, if you need any parts, you know, cycleguard.com. Give us a call here, 760-972-4800. And my email direct is mo, M-O-E, at cycleguard.com. So give us a call if you need information. And... Uh, Thanks for watching the video. All right, let's see how she sounds. Still tight because of the 